racism exists, whether we like to think it or not. People look at America and they go, that's happening there, it doesn't apply here, but it does apply here. It affects so many people, it's a worldwide issue. My name's Kayla mcdonald Gua, and I play for Motherwell Women's Team. My mum's white from Scotland, my dad's black, he's from Ghana, two great countries. I was actually a dancer before football, and I found out that Celtic had a girls' academy, had a trial, got told I was in. So that was the, the leotard thrown away and the football boots on. And I was actually playing with Scotland, under 17s. We were playing in an international tournament. There was a girl on one of the opposite teams. She was giving me weird looks quite a lot, but I was like, well, we're a different team for rivals, so it's okay. Um, and until it kind of came to blows, a couple of words were said, but one was like, oh, chocolate, that is what I could hear. And I was like, wow, I was taken aback. Here I am just trying to represent my country, doing something that I love, but someone has decided that they're going to try and make it a negative experience for me based on my skin colour. I remember seeing the news about George Floyd. I thought, this is just going to be another one that passes over. But then I started to see, obviously, the media attention it started to garner. I think it was really important that it did go viral and people did see because this is something that happens quite a lot. Like, that's someone's son, that's someone's dad, that's someone's brother, that's someone's close friend, and they're now no longer here because of their skin colour. Primary one was when I first heard the M word um, by someone who was in my class. I remember going home, looking up at my hands and going, oh, my skin colour is different, but why is it so different? Like, I feel the same as everyone else. Obviously, at that age, I didn't fully understand why it was such a big deal. And looking back now, like, I know it's not a big deal, it shouldn't be a big deal, but in this world, it defines a lot of things. I think football is so key in tackling racism because it's it's worldwide. Near enough, everybody watches football. Once you cross that white line, you know, it should just be about putting that ball in the net. Nothing else should matter. So taking a knee, it's a symbol of you know, being united. Clubs are still doing it. It's still something that's seen before every single game, but it's just a start. There's a lot of work to be done to help eradicate racism completely from football. Some of the punishments are so lenient, whether it's fans, whether it's players. A stat that I saw, I think a player got fined more for wearing the wrong coloured Under Armour shorts than another player who was found guilty of being racist to an opposing player. When you put it in comparison, it looks like someone's Under Armour shorts are more important than a person. That's rather frightening. Black Lives Matter is just about bridging that gap because right now we see everyone else here and black lives down here. So Black Lives Matter is just about getting up to that step and it being equal. But it's also brought out a lot for me because as much as I can help educate, I still can be educated myself. It's something that my eyes were kind of opened up to, the types of adjectives and words used for black players, like the contrast between that and a white player. And I think the example that I saw was Yaya Touri, he's an African player, played for Man City. You'd only hear him being called big, strong, powerful and there's actually a player now, same position, white, and he was called a magician, like technical genius, when in fact Yaya too was known for his technical ability. It kind of struck a chord because it's something that I've experienced myself. A lot of the words that I use for me are that, oh, you're strong or you're powerful, but for me personally, like, my game is about being technical. So it is quite frustrating hearing that when I'm, there's more to me, that's my genetics, but look what I've worked hard to do and get better at that. I think it's so important to have role models. At the end of the day, this is how kids decide what they want to do when they grow up. But if they see a woman of colour doing something that they like, they're going to think, well, I can do that if they can do that. 
if Ifi Aki who played for Scotland. She's the only woman of colour to play for Scotland. It was such a key thing for me to see that, you know, that someone, it can be done at such a high level. So you hope that, you know, she's the start and there'll be a lot more and hopefully I'll be one of them as well.